The first step is to create a user that I can use to access AWS programmatically. To create a user, first go into IAM or Identity and Access Management. And under user section, add a new user. Let's call it uh, my test user. You are going to give programmatic access. Click permission. Uh, I can attach a policy here. Click attach existing policies. I'm going to attach a manage policy, which AWS manages. You can give fine grain control if you want, but in this case, I'm going to give Amazon S3 full access. Click next, review. So this user has Amazon S3 full access now, create the user. And it gives you this access key ID and secret access key because this is a user I created to access AWS programmatically. Uh, therefore, I can keep these keys in a secret location. So let's uh, keep it in a special location so that I can refer to this one when I need it. So in my dual machine, so access key is this. Uh, secret key is this one. So far so good. So when I try to uh, type get S3 uh, bucket, you got an error, access denied. But I can now specify get S3 bucket and I can define access key. And if I do that, now you can get uh, the list of buckets available in my account. So this is one way to access it. But when I did that, it by default, it took the region that this EC2 instance is running. If I type get default AWS region, as of now, you can find there's no any region being set. If I type get AWS regions, I'm going to set the default region to uh, Sydney region, which I'm operating this uh, where I created the bucket. So that is very explicit. So I'm going to set uh, default AWS region to app Southeast two. And if I get default AWS region, you can find that one which set to app Southeast two. So it's not taken from um, the instance uh, metadata. So if I type now uh, get S3 bucket, I can always uh, give this access key and secret key, but it's not a good practice for multiple reasons. One is that when you are executing this command, uh, if you output this one into a log file, then you are leaking these important secret keys uh, in a log file. Second is it's cumbersome. Third, it's not very secure. So it's the one method to use it, especially if you are uh, testing or developing, it's uh, one method to do that. But there are better way to uh, keep this access key and secret key. So how can we do that? So one method is to set a profile. So you can say set AWS credentials. You can then give access key. And you can say the secret key. So once done, you can now call AWS uh, get uh, S3 buckets. And you don't need to specify the access key and secret key. And this is available throughout this session. If I call the get S3 bucket again, it's available. So any command that I'm running in this PowerShell session is available, can uh, get access to this uh, session credentials that I have set like this. But if I close this PowerShell window, and let's say I open the PowerShell again. And now I type uh, get S3 bucket, like before. It will again give an access denied error because now the session information is lost.